Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Titanic Honor and Glory Demo 3. Today is April 14th, uh, 109th anniversary of Titanic sinking. And I would like to show you some of the most recognizable areas. So let's jump into it. We are currently in Belfast where Titanic was constructed along with its sister ships Britannic and Olympic. Let's get a closer look at it. Right in the distance you can see the gantry where Titanic was constructed. Olympic Adec Promenade was open along the whole length of the ship, whereas on Titanic Adec Promenade was half enclosed. The ship was 53.3 meters tall and its length was 269 meters. There are only just a few photographs that were taken on board the Titanic. The most famous pictures were taken by Father Brown. The ship hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. on the April 14th, and it sank April 15th at 2.20 a.m. This is what first-class passengers would have seen when boarding the ship. We just boarded the ship, and this is the first thing you would see when entering. Right now we see three elevators that go all the way down to E-deck from A-deck. There is no access to boat deck through the elevator. Right now we see D-deck reception room, that in front of us we see D-deck dining saloon. And right next to us, we see Grand Staircase and beautiful Candelabra. I'm very impressed with the amount of details. I'm gonna put uh, a picture from the real ship. This is probably the most accurate representation of the ship that we can find. People who made this have done incredible, incredible amount of research. This is the reception area. You would sit here before or after dinner, socializing. Away from the Grand Staircase, we are making our way to the first class dining saloon. This room could seat 554 passengers. Unfortunately, there is only one picture of this room from the actual Titanic, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen now. It was also taken by Father Brown. Only recently, it's been discovered that Titanic had these windows bigger. I'm gonna put a picture from Olympic, where you can see these, these archways are smaller. Let's go down to E-Deck. Right here, you can see all the way to the top of the Grand Staircase and this famous dome. This was such a beautiful ship. Right here, you can see first class cabins. We don't have access to all the areas quite yet because it's just a demo, but you can have an idea of the amount of work and the amount of detail the team making this have put into this. I'm very impressed by it, by the way. On E-Deck, uh, Grand Staircase had access to Scotland Road. Scotland Road was a long corridor 
that spanned across the entire ship. Scotland Road was used by crew members uh, to move quickly around the ship. And also Scotland Road had access to boiler rooms. I can imagine the heat. These are the boilers that workers would call in. Unfortunately, we can't move any further, but this is what the boiler room looked like. Also, several third class areas could be reached from Scotland Road, such as third class dining room. Right here we see a picture of Olympic. Going back from Scotland Road, we go down to F deck where our Turkish bath and cooling room. This room is probably the most preserved room on the entire rack because of the tiles and how slowly the room flooded. There's also access to the swimming pool. The name Scotland Road comes from the street in Liverpool where many of the ship's workers lived and th that's how they named it. Back at the Grand Staircase going up, we go to Sea Deck, and here we can see Purchase Office, where passengers could purchase tickets for Turkish bath, rent deck chairs, and have general, general inquiries. Right ahead of us, we can see a corridor to the first class cabins on Sea Deck. Not many people know that Titanic actually had two grand staircases, one on the front and other on the back of the ship. Here we can have a glimpse of the first class cabin. Right here we are on the aft grand staircase that not many people know it existed. It's a little smaller than the one in the front, but I think it's as beautiful as the one in the front. If you wanted to have a haircut on Titanic, there was also a barber shop. Going up, we are finding ourselves on B deck landing of the aft grand staircase. Right next to the Grand Staircase, we have an access to Father Brown's cabin. And we see the camera here. There was actually a picture taken from this exact spot facing this little area here. I'm gonna put a picture up so you can see exactly where the picture was taken. Also on the aft grand staircase, there was a smoking room that unfortunately we have no access to, but we can have a glimpse through the door of what it looked like. It was used by men drinking brandy and smoking cigars after, after dinner. And right here, we can have a cheeky glimpse at the promenade deck. This right here is the passageway towards the lounge. 
these revolving doors lead straight to Titanic's lounge. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go there. The ship had many restaurants on board. One of them was a la carte restaurant, which was exclusively only for first class passengers. Dining at this restaurant was not included in the price of the ticket. You would have to pay extra to dine here and try some amazing French cuisine. Right next to a la carte restaurant was Café Parisien, which was a replica of Sidewalk Paris Café. You could sit here, have a coffee, and admire the incredible view of the ocean. There were 2,024 people on board. Over 1,500 people died. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to honor every person who perished uh, in this tragedy. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.